Guess who's back? Back again. Sparkle's back. Tell a friend. <laughs> Good evening, my Sparkleites, and welcome to another live narrated Wi Fi battle. My name is Sparkles, and tonight I have a battle against Sasha, who has been asking me to have a battle against him to, to, to analyze his battling style and his team and all that good stuff. So, uh, of course, I oblige. I oblige with my fans, of course, all the time. So, I'm bringing the same team like last time, I think. Um, it's the Galvantula, Heatran, Trevenant, Salamence, uh, Kingdra, and Cobalion. So, it's a mixed team, O-U-U-U and all that good stuff, doesn't really matter. And my opponent is bringing Scrafty, Bronzong, I love Bronzong, uh, Gyarados, Chandelor, Darmanitan and Steelix. So, yeah, it's a pretty off uh, offensive, no, not really offensive, it's a, it's a good mix, it's a great mix. Scrafty, Chandelor and Darmanitan are offensive, Gyarados can be offensive if it's the Mega version with Dragon Dance, so that's great. Um, yeah, and then Ding Dong and Steelix. So what I see is that he has tried to um, He has some fire weakness. He tried to um, Take care of that with the Gyarados and the Chandelure and all that. That's good. It's a good-looking team um, I don't really see a need for sticky web here um, but I do see a need for stealth rocks maybe so um, well, I'm just gonna lead off with uh, Treebeard because he has a lot of uh, physical offensive threats in his team, like the Scrafty and the Gyarados and the and uh, the Dar no, Darmanitan can't be burned um, and the Onyx or the Steelix. They're they're all physically offensive, so getting a burn off early on it should be that it should be very beneficial. So that is what I'm going to lead with while he leads off with the ding no the, not the ding dong the magic dong magic dong the bronze dong yeah um I'm gonna go for a leech seed right here I expect him to switch out of the the will o wisp and that is what he does exactly and he switches in his holy lamp which is chandelure so the leech seed was a nice prediction so that is great that is awesome and now basically. Um, I can't take a f I I can't take a flamethrower, but I can't really do anything against him. So what I want to do here now is I want to switch into Heatran, expecting the flamethrower, um, because I'm specially defensive. I can even take um, a shadow ball from this guy, so that would be great. So let's just do that. I go for the Heatran. He goes for the shadow ball, and I can take that fairly easily. Look at that. Yeah, it's. And I get the special defense drop. That is great. I get the special defense drop. Now I didn't see. Um, I did not see. What did I not see? Well, I can't stay in actually. I I think he's gonna go for a second shadow ball, and I I really with the special defense drop, it's not gonna be that great. So so so. What do I want to do? What can take a shadow ball? Not much really. I don't have anything resistant to it. I have something that is weak to it, um, but I can. What I can do is I can switch into Kingdra. Hopefully, he can take a Shadow Ball. Um, but Kingdra can threaten him out with a Hydro Pump, so that that's gonna be awesome, I guess. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So he goes to the Shadow Ball, and oh, I take that. Not as nice as I would have thought. So that sucks. That sucks a little bit, but um, does he have the choice scarf? He probably has choice scarf, but I am gonna have to sacrifice my Kingdra right here. If he doesn't have the choice scarf, I should be able to outspeed. He switches out, so he doesn't have the choice scarf, I think, and he goes into his flying fish, which is the Gyarados, and which can easily take the Hydro Pump to the face. So that's not. That's not. Uh, it was pretty decent damage. So, um, I'm gonna switch into Trevenant here again. Oh, that's my phone. You want my phone? Yeah, my phone. My phone was ringing. But I'm gonna switch into Trevenant here. Um, basically, I can take. Yeah, I can take any attack, I do think. And let's see what he has here. He's gonna mega evolve into the dark version, so that's that's bad because now he has a stab that does super effective damage to me, so that's gonna suck. But 
yeah, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It goes for the Ice Fang, so that's also super effective, but it's not Stab. And oh, I take it less nicely than I would have than I would have liked. Damn it. I take things less likely all the time. So, 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 so. I can't live an Ice Fang. That sucks. That sucks. What can live an Ice Fang? Well, my Adamus is pretty bulky, so I'm gonna switch in Adamus right here. And he's gonna withdraw his flying fish, uh, fearing the horn leech or something. I don't know, but he's gonna switch into his holy lamp, and um, I don't know. I still don't know if he's choice carved or not. But I sh I can't take a flamethrower to the face. Um, hmm. <laughs> well, if he outspeeds me, that means he has um, choice card. So we're gonna test this out. He doesn't outspeed me, so he's not wearing a scarf. I get some Volt Switch uh, shenanigans off. He doesn't switch out. So what I want to do here is I want to switch into Heatran again, expecting the flamethrower um, because I am a steel type. So yeah, let's see. Let's see. And he goes for hidden power, and I don't know which hidden power he wants to go for. What is it? It's not very effective. Um, yeah, that could be pretty much anything. Grass... I don't know, grass maybe? Who knows? But what I want to do here is I want to go for a Stealth Rock. Uh, while he switches out, with the Stealth Rock, his Gyarados um, and uh, Darmanitan and Chandelure will take a decent chunk of damage, so that's already great. And here I go for the Stealth Rocks and yeah, it is Gyarados, so what I expect him to do here is he wants to go for either a Waterfall or even worse, an Earthquake. And there is one Pokemon on my team that can take both pretty nicely, which is my Vitiate, um, also known as Salamence, because Salamence is just awesome. I don't have the Intimidate, he goes to the Dragon Dance, but I still outspeed. So that's great, but in order to try and kill this guy, I do feel that I have to go for the most powerful move I have, which in this case is Outrage. So I have to go for Outrage, I still outspeed because of the Choice Scarf, and let's hope to kill this guy. And it doesn't, and now he goes for the Ice Fang, and that should be able, I don't know, it's not, yeah, it kills me. That's too bad, it kills me. Well, that's okay, that's okay. Um, I can revenge kill here with the Galvantula um, because I have the Focus Sash. So even if he does go, uh, he, he will probably outspeed me. But a Bug Bus um, will easily take care of this guy. But he goes for the Earthquake, so that maybe won't even hurt my Sash. You know, that brings me down to my Sash, but that's okay. I like it. I can finish him off with the Bug Bus. It's super effective stab. So that is great. So bye bye, Flying Fish. It was a critical hit though, that really didn't matter. <laughs> but yeah, useless crits are useless, but still they happen. You have to deal with that. So in comes the Onyx, the Steelix. Why do I say Onyx? Why do I say Onyx? God damn it, know your Pokemon. Lade. But um, I can't go for Thunder, Bug Buzz, um, Energy Ball. Do I want to go for a Sticky Web? Mm. Well, the thing is, he probably has Stealth Rock, so even if I do switch out, this Galvantula will be finished. So I'm gonna go for a Sticky Web. You know, support is support. Um, I still have the Kingdra, and it can use any. It could use a lot of help, so that's good. And I don't have my Choice Scarfer anymore, so he goes to the Stealth Rock, and now I just want to go. Um, Resisted bug buzz. No, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go for energy ball because it's at least neutral damage, and it is based on his special defense, which is not that high. So that's doing a decent chunk of damage. Look at that. That's a decent chunk of damage. I like it. And now I can just switch in anything that I want. So let's see at the health level of Kingdra. They oh, it's all yeah, that's all fine. That's all good. It's all good. It's all right. Um, but I want to go into Treebeard here because this is a perfect opportunity for me to um, to rest up and get some health back because that is sorely needed. Um, 
He still has the Chandelure. I'm gonna rest. I'm just gonna rest. He's gonna stay in. So that's great. I'm at full health. He really can't touch me. I think he... What, what does he have? Like Earthquake or Gyro Ball and all those stuff. They won't do that much to me. So he's gonna go for the Earthquake. I resist that. So that is great. That is just awesome damage. Look at that. that I take that like a boss. And I harvest my Lumberry. So the next rest is... Is a, is a real threat. So I'm gonna go for Leech Seed right here. Exp oh, he stays in though. So yeah, that's great. You can stay in. You can stay in if you want. I'll seed you. I put my seeds in you. And now I take your health. He goes to the Rock Slide, which is neutral damage, but it is low. And yeah, basically I have this thing in the bag against, against Steelix because the big boy isn't doing that much damage to me. Um... Ba -ba -ba -bam. um do I still wanna... let's... let's go into for the Will-O-Wisp. He still wants to stay in. So he's not... he doesn't want to save his Steelix, so that's fine, that's okay. He's going for another um, Rock Slide, so that's fine, that's okay. Look at that, now he's not doing anything whatsoever. So I'm walling the shit out of this guy. And now, just, you know, just for fun, and not for fun, just because I lost a lot of health and I need to remain as healthy as possible. I'm gonna go for a rest right here. Uh, he's gonna protect, so that's great. I'm doing predictions. Now, I didn't expect him to protect this turn. I don't know why he protected, because uh, one turn um, wasted is, is just better for me in general. Because of burn and leech sheet, so yeah. That's, that's okay, I don't mind. He can go for the protect. And uh, now I get some more health back, but I'm already full, but the burn will uh, take care of the big boy. The big boy is going down. So yeah, battle of the tree against the, uh, the rock snake, solid snake, something, something dark side. Doesn't matter, and I, I predict he will go into sh ice cold, ice cold, which is a scraggy. And he does have the dark type attack. Um, I'm not seeing Intimidate, maybe I'm seeing, maybe it will be Moxie, let's, let's test it with a Will-O-Wisp. Let's just go for a Will-O-Wisp, hopefully we can get the burn off, I, you know, Scrafty can have the Shed Skin, but who knows, who knows. But I get the burn off before he can go for the Ice Punch, so that's great, thank you Sticky Web, uh, <laughs> for the, the speed reduction. And it's not looking like he has um, the Shed Skin or he didn't get the proc. So I'm gonna go for a Leech Seed right here because I can still survive the next Ice Punch and recover off um, with, the, with, uh, with the Leech Seed. So that's great. He's gonna go for the Crunch with his Stab, of course. I don't know why he didn't go for, <laughs> for that in the first place. But that's okay. Um, I still have Rest and... Yeah, I can pretty much stall this guy, but I want to rest up here. Maybe he wants to switch out or something, I don't know. Uh, yeah, he's going to switch out, so I'm just going to rest up and be back at full health, so that's great. And he sends in the toy, the toy, which is Darmanitan. Of course, Darmanitan cannot be burned, uh, because it's a fire type, and his staff, Fire Blast, will do a shit down. So that's going to that's gonna hurt. That is going to hurt. But first, I rest up, and I think... I think I had the Lumberry. I hope I had the Lumberry. Yeah, I have the Lumberry. Look at that. I'm eating the Lumberry and I'm back at full health and I get the Harvest proc. Oh my god, this Trevenant is really putting in the work. So I'm at full health. I have my Berry back. and But I... I don't really know what I can do against this guy. But I'm gonna switch in Heat. I'm gonna expect the Flare Blitz right here. So I'm gonna switch into Heatran. But he might predict me and go for an Earthquake. And at that point, um, my Heatran will be gone. But I'm not sure. Let's just see. Hopefully, he goes. He goes to the superpower. So that is indeed a nice prediction. And that should be enough to take me down. So great play on his behalf. Um, but his attack and his defense will fall down. Meaning, 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 meaning. What does that mean? I'm going to try. I'm going to go into Kingdra right here. I'm going to go into Kingdra. I take some stealth rock damage and I should be able to outspeed but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into I'm gonna go hmm. what, am, what do I wanna do the Gyarados is down 
I'm gonna go for Hydro Punch. I just wanna finish this guy off. He still outspeeds me, though. He still outspeeds me, but his attack drop... Oh my god! Ah. Oh. Even with the sticky web, it still outsped me. So that's great. Did not. I didn't know that. I did not know at all. But Adamus can come in right here and finish the job with a close combat. But of course, um, damn it, he still he still has the Chandelor probably. So I'm gonna go. Damn it! I'm gonna go for a Volt Switch. I'm gonna go for a Volt Switch. I expect him to switch out because a close combat will easily take care of this guy. I do outspeed and all that, and I I think he's, I think he's just gonna 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 switch out. He's gonna have to switch out. He doesn't switch out. What the? Okay, so I'm over predicting, it would seem, and he is still going for the superpower. <sighs> but Tree Beard. Can, yeah, it's immune to superpower, so <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what he wants to do. I, I don't understand. But anyways, I'm gonna go for Lichi right here, um, because even if he does want to go for the the flare blitz at this point, which I, he's scarfed, he can't do anything. So he's gonna go into Magic Dong. Uh, Magic Dong, that's great because I can go for Leech Seed and set up. Um, and I think he's gonna wanna set up his screens or something. So, what I wanna, I'm gonna go for the Will O Wisp already right here immediately. I'm gonna go for the Will O Wisp. Well, the thing is now, I'm not thinking. I only have two Pokemon left, and he has four Pokemon left. So, which is one of his? It's it's his um the Magic Dong, and now I, I really need to decide what I want to do here. I I can pretty much tank this Magic uh, Magic Dong, but because of the screens, um, I need to rely on um. I need to rely on Cobalion to finish it off, but he has the screen, so that's gonna suck. So I need to do as much damage as I can with Treebeard. So, 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 so. That's gonna suck. I'm gonna go for another Leech Seed. Maybe he wants to switch out. And with another Leech Seed, I can, I, I can outstall him. But it fails because he stayed in. He's gonna go for the reflect. So now, yeah, he has both both screens up now. So basically, that's not good. That is not good at all. But there is still Stealth Rock. He still has two fire types. <sighs> Let's go for Leech Seed. Uh, for Horn Leech. And this time he withdraws. I am being outplayed. I'm. I am not playing that well. That sucks, but Stealth Rock is taking damage. Look at that, and the speed is falling, and the Horn Leech. That's fine. That's great, but he will outspeed. Will he KO me? I don't know. Let's go for Rest. Maybe he wants. Uh, he goes for the Flare Blitz, so the Recall will at least take him out, and hopefully I live it. But I don't, because it's the Darmanitan. Darmanitan is awesome. Okay, then we go into Aramis, my final Pokemon. I am a Life Orb Sweeper. So <laughs> let's just hope that it would be enough. Uh, let's see. He has Ice Cold, which is weak to my close combat. So that's already good. That is already a good thing. Caught in the sticky web. I will outspeed him, definitely. Uh, so I have Hidden Power, Ice, Volt Switch, Stealth Rock, and Close Combat. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go for close combat. 
I really hope that the Chandelure will be in KO range from a full switch after Stealth Rock. Otherwise, I am doomed. Doomed, I tell you! But uh, the Bronzong was almost down, so he won't be that much of a problem. The light screen is going off, so my special attacks are already good. But yeah, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. Um, what do I want to do? Close combat is neutral and stab, so I want to go for a close combat, even though the reflect is still up. But he's burned, so he can't do that much in return. But I do kill him. So that's great. We're getting we're getting a Cobalion sweep with a critical hit. Awesome. So this is an exciting match, ladies and gentlemen. It's can, it can go either way. Let's just hope that um, so the reflect is also off. So that's great. Let's just hope that with Stealth Rock, he took enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fault Switch will easily take care of him. That should be no problem. That should be no problem whatsoever. So go, go, gadget, Fault Switch, and let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Yes! Okay, so <laughs> it really came down to the last Pokemon. Cobalion pulling through like a champion. Champion Cobalion, the truth and justice. And I don't know, I don't know the lore. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed the battle. Um, it was very exciting. But some some funny place made me took took me off guard. So yeah, that was great. Um, if you liked it, make sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. My name's Spockles. Peace out.